Well, good morning again to y'all and welcome to Apron Strings. I am um, excited today because I'm going to try a new recipe. A friend, Debbie Wilson, sent me this recipe and said that she cut it out of the newspaper 30 years ago and never had made it. And that it was delicious. And of course, y'all know how I love cornbread. So this is a cornbread made with yeast and you let it rise and then you bake it in loaves. Now, this is my first time to make it, but I guarantee you it won't be my last time. So I've got all my ingredients here on the butcher block. Um, let me turn the camera a little bit and see if y'all can see, and then we're going to uh, scald some milk and get everything going. Let me just tell you what I've got here. I've got uh, three and a half cups of flour, one and three-fourths cups of cornmeal, a cup of milk, eight tablespoons of sugar, two packages of yeast, two teaspoons of salt, a stick of butter, and two eggs that I've whipped up and a half a cup of water. Now we're going to scald the milk. That means you get it to where it's almost a simmer, but you don't boil your milk. And um, then we're going to add in the butter and let that melt and cool. Then we'll get on with the rest of the, of the show. So I've got my little pot here on the stove, and I'm going to put my milk in it. This makes two loaves. I've got my oven preheating to 375. So let me get my milk going, then we'll add in our stick of butter, let it melt, let that milk cool down just a snitch, and then you mix it all up and you're going to let it rise um, till it doubles, but you don't have to punch it down and redo it, you just have the one, the one rise on this one. I think while my milk's getting to a simmer, I'm going to run and grab an apron because I don't want flour all over me. So I will, um, I'll be right back. Okay, you can see around the edges, it's starting to bubble and it's hot. Little bitty, 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 bitty boil start. So I'm going to put my butter in and just let it melt. And when it gets through uh, melting and this cools down, then I can go on with the rest of the bread making. I'm going to pour my milk and melted butter into this measuring cup where it'll cool quicker because this is a very thick bottomed pot and it's going to hold the heat. So I'm going to let that cool down. The next thing I'm going to do is take a half a cup of warm water and sprinkle my yeast in it and let it dissolve real good. As soon as it's cool enough, we'll be ready to put it all together. Into this warmed milk that's cooling down, I need to add my eight tablespoons of sugar and my two teaspoons of salt. That's, that's just barely warm now, so let me get my yeast in my, I gotta get some warm water. The water that I got cold on me. Let me get my warm water and we'll put the yeast in it and let it dissolve and then we'll be ready to mix it up. Let's start rising. Now my yeast has been in the freezer, so it's very cold, so put my two packages, which I have a uh, a spoon that measures what's two packages, a measuring spoon that I got from King Arthur because I buy my yeast in bulk, those big packages. So I put two of those spoons, two and a fourth teaspoons I think is equal to a package. Let that start doing its thing, Jane, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, when, when this starts bubbling, I'm going to let it set about five minutes, and then we'll get over to the Bosch mixer and get everything mixed up. It's going to be a very thick dough, she said, 
the recipe said, it was neat, it was a very yellowed, cut out of the newspaper, you could tell. And then we're going to put it in our pans, and I, by the way, you grease your pans really good. I greased mine with bacon grease, because that's what I wanted to do. So I'm going to put it in the pans and let it rise for about an hour, and when it doubles, we'll bake it and have us some yeasted cornbread with butter on it. So let me let this do just a little bit. I'm going to get everything moved over to the mixer. We'll be ready to go. Okay, I put in my flour and cornmeal and let it uh, and mixed it a little bit. So I'm going to add in my yeast. Let me get a spatula just a minute. Okay, I'm going to add in my uh, sugar, milk, and uh, butter, salt. Looks like some of the salt stayed down in the bottom. I'm going to add in my yeast. And my beaten eggs. I beat those two eggs really good. Because that's what it told me to do. And I don't want a bath, so I'm going to put this on here. Turn it on and let it mix. that's about enough. I'm going to just finish it with the spatula. It's kind of like fried cornbread dough. Alright, let me get over to the stove and we'll get it in the pans. It is thick. Whew. Trying to divide it kind of equally here. See how thick it is in there? It doesn't run either way. So let me get my pan. I guess I could dampen my hands and pat it out in here, but I'll see if this will work. And there's two. And it says it only takes about an hour for it to rise. I guess that's because it has the two things of yeast in it. But it's cool in my kitchen. I'm going to set it on the stove and maybe with the oven on it'll rise better. But Okay. One's bigger than the other, of course. But I'm going to just set them over here on the stove where it's a little bit warmer and let them rise for... So they're double, and then I'll be back and uh, we'll put them in the oven. Okay, y'all, it's been rising about an hour. <clears throat> it's to the top of the pan, and it was way down at the bottom. This one looks like it's puffing up a little over, a little more. Well, it's to the top. So I'm going to put them in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes, and uh, we'll see what we got. I'm anxious to try it because I do love cornbread. 
Well, my timer went off. So let's see. I might have let it get too brown. I don't know. I like it brown, though. Yep, that might be a little brown. But I bet it'll taste good with some Kerrygold butter on it. I did it 35 minutes, and I should have come back in here and checked, but I didn't. I'm going to turn that down to 350 because I'm probably going to keep baking. Okay, let me fix the camera and I'll take it out on this bar rack and let it cool a little bit. I'll probably wait to taste of it. I'm probably going to make a little pot of some kind of soup today. Ooh, yummy. So I can have some soup and cornbread. usually go ahead and cut my bread while it's hot, but I want to put some butter on a piece of this, so let me get a little plate. And I always like the crunchy end piece. Put some of my Kerrygold butter on here. Oh la la. My pastor used to say when you was buttering a biscuit, if it didn't talk back to you when you squeezed it, you didn't have enough butter. Well, on this, I think I think I needed some more butter too. That's delicious. I will make this again. I hope y'all try it. You can tell that the cornmeal's in it, but it still has that yeasty bread taste too. That's definitely a keeper. I like to try something new that I really like. I um, got a cake that I want to make after a while. I can get it uploaded first of the week probably. And I'll be back here in a few days with some uh, gardening for you, too. The good Lord bless you.